All right, so what up, y'all? We're getting ready to check out this body cam footage from the NBC News channel. And this is the body cam footage released after uh, LA deputies fatally shot woman who called 911. So again, this is another instance of somebody calling 911 for help and end up not making it to see the next day. Started with a 911 call from 27 year old Niani Finlayson saying her ex boyfriend was being abusive. I need the police here right now. No, because he won't get his hands off of me. It ended with a Los Angeles County Sheriff's deputy shooting and killing the mother of two. Now, newly released police body camera video is shedding light on what appears to have happened in between. The video shows three deputies arriving at the apartment, knocking on a locked door before Finlayson answers. Because she appears to be holding a kitchen as you probably wondering how how do you end up calling how do you end up being taken out by the people you call for help and it's because they're not able to make sound decisions there I, I don't know what criteria required to make to hire these people that can't make uh, sound decisions and go based off of no investigation, no, they, it's like they have no discernment in figuring out a situation. And then they want to say, oh, well, you know, we have to make split seconds th decisions to, uh, to make sure we make it home tonight and for officer safety. I think that it needs to be emphasized to police officers that once they take this job is your main priority is not simply uh officer safety we we understand that yeah you may have a family that is you know that wants to see you come home at night or that you have to get back to yeah we see that but you have to decide you that's once you decide to take a job that you know is somewhat dangerous you are taking that risk every single day so if you don't want to take that risk then don't take up a job where your life is going to be on the line because one if you are if you do take that job and now you're put in a situation you're you're not even thinking about how to actually resolve the situation all you worried about is yourself and you can't take a job like a police officer and be a selfish person you know you you become selfless like when a soldier is called into war everybody his family knows that it's a chance that he may or may not make it back home and that's the same with law enforcement tonight her nine-year-old daughter tells officers the man pushed her. Look at this. Just, just because they see a knife, even though they got guns. So if you got to think, if you got a gun and somebody got a knife, are you really scared of that person with the knife? No, because you know by the time they even got close to you, you'll be able, like you'll be able to defend yourself. Like it's I just don't understand that notion to where you're so scared of somebody with like a, a stick or something and you got guns on you like any i'm not a police officer and i know that i'm not going to be scared of somebody who got a stick a knife uh any like solid object like they can have a metal rod or something as soon as they i mean if they go to attack you even if they attempt to like throw it like it's come on you got guns her the video then shows finlayson walk over to her boyfriend and according to the sheriff's department appear to grab him with knife still in hand a deputy quickly fires four shots at finlayson killing her her daughter witnessed the entire they these officers shot and killed her in front of her daughter now what is what is this little girl to think about police officers moving forward um what is she to think i'm gonna let the whole video play and then 
We're going to talk about it, but come on now. Why did you sue? Drop it! Finlayson's family plans to sue the sheriff's department for $30 million. You couldn't mace her. You couldn't baton her. Taze. You couldn't use a, a stun gun. My daughter only weighed 110 pounds. Why is she dead? The department released this picture of a knife they say was recovered at the scene. But according to That's a government like, claim filed. That's not even a stabbing knife. Like, come on. By the family, Finlayson's estranged boyfriend told officers there was no reason to shoot her. And Finlayson's family says she called 911 because her former boyfriend was strangling her and hurt her nine-year-old daughter. He was hurting my mother and me. I didn't have no choice but to get something sharp. The Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department says the incident is still under investigation and the deputy responsible for the shooting has been removed from the field. She put away her taser and pulled out her gun. Pending the outcome. Lane Alexander, NBC News. Thanks for watching. You know, unbelievable. So within, within a minute, it was over with. Come on, man. He, even even the boyfriend said that y'all shouldn't have shot her. Even he said it, and he was the supposed victim. So now what? Now now the supposed person you they <laughs> they got a call that this guy was being abusive. They get to the house, and she has a knife, and you know she's. It didn't really look like she was going to stab him, but. I don't know that entire situation. I can't, I, I won't speak on that aspect of it. But what I will say is that the knife she had was not a stabbing knife. I mean, you know, if, if she went out to cut him, then maybe, but that that was, you know, that was a more of a chopping knife. But that's that's besides the point. Why at that point did she give her taser? to the other officer and pull out her gun. Why didn't she just use the taser if she wanted to control the situation? But again, the decision making of, you know, it's just not good decision making, not good discernment. And now somebody has lost their life. You know, let's 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 play that back and, and see it from the beginning without I'm gonna play it all the way through. It ended with a Los Angeles County Sheriff's deputy shooting and killing the mother of two. Now, newly released police body camera video is shedding light on what appears to have happened in between. The video shows three deputies arriving at the apartment, knocking on a locked door before hey, Finlayson answers. Yeah, I'm gonna because he's hey. She appears to be holding a kitchen knife. Her nine-year-old daughter tells officers the man pushed her. The video then shows Finlayson walk over to her boyfriend and, according to the sheriff's department, appear to grab him with knife still in hand. A deputy quickly fires four shots at Finlayson, killing her. Her daughter witnessed the entire thing. Why did you sue? Drop it! Finlayson's family plans to sue the sheriff's department for $30 million. You couldn't mace her. You couldn't baton her. You couldn't use a, a stun gun. My daughter only weighed 110 pounds. Why is she dead? The department released this picture of a knife they say was recovered at the scene. But according to a government claim filed by the family, Finlayson's estranged boyfriend told officers there was no reason to shoot her. And Finlayson's family says she called 911 because her former boyfriend was strangling her and hurt her nine-year-old daughter. He was hurting my mother and me. I didn't have no choice but to get something sharp. The Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department says the incident is still under investigation and the deputy responsible for the shooting has been removed from the field pending the outcome. Lane Alexander, NBC News. Thanks for watching. You know, we'll, we'll see how, I wonder how that is going to turn out um, because we, in, in situations like this, you know, they'll say it was, it was justified but you know there there's many other things that they definitely could have tased her they definitely could have tased her and that would that would have did it right there for them to use that 
level of deadly force. Even even he was saying y'all didn't have to shoot her, and he was the one in danger of being stabbed. Like, come on. 